track of a new adventure here. Uh, the blower is not working. Blower. There it should be on. And it is broken. Got a new replacement. This is on a Morgan Monaco Spa. Um, got the part from Spa Guts. Time to replace it. Uh, let's see. Got a special tool you need, and that's this little kind of uh, uh, square end tool to open up the uh, the outside cover of the hot tub. All right, spa cover is um, is removed, and here is the blower um, that needs to be replaced. And so the next thing to do, which is very, very important, is to go to the GFI and turn off the power. It's at uh, running 240, so don't want to get a jolt. Here we go. This is so important. Here's the... Turn it off. There. Now it's safe. Here's the replacement blower. Gonna double check here. Ultra 9000. It's a one horsepower, 240 volt, 2.5 amps. Um, that's what I'm looking for. A little bit shocked. This uh, is just kind of like it's got a. It's just kind of hanging on this little board <laughs> right there. And that's kind of what's holding it down, so not much. I'm just going to take it off that board and uh, loosen up this clamp here and see what's going on. Uh, this little white fitting in the back. Uh, I could see some pipe wrench marks on there. It was kind of loose, so I, I was able to loosen it mostly by hand, but I'm probably going to finish it off with, this, with a pipe wrench um, to kind of get that, uh, pull that blower off. All right, yeah, so that pipe, uh, it came off. I was able to um, just kind of jimmy it off by hand. Uh, the pipe wrench didn't come in handy at all, actually. Uh, just got to move it around a little bit. Now I'm going to pull this old, old blower out. All right, here's the old blower, nice and dusty. And it's, it lasted about, well, probably about six or seven years. Um, I had the, somebody else replace it. I didn't know anything about it and um, it still has this fitting on here I'm gonna have to take this fitting off um, but look looks like a match here's the old one and here's the new one one thing I did notice this replacement it's not gonna be as powerful um, Replacement is uh, one horsepower as opposed to 1.5 horsepower, um, but it's also not drawing as many amps, so it should be a little, little bit better on uh, the electricity consumption. Um, I am going to have to uh, work with this because this is the um, the new. I mean, yeah, the new blowers clamp or plug-in. And then this is the old one. So I'm gonna to have to make this one fit the new one, wire it in. All right, so um, I pulled this off and it looks like this has been sort of modified, heavily modified. Um, obviously this is too large and so somebody has put in a kind of fashioned a uh, this little ring in here. So I'm going to take this off and put it on onto this blower, and hopefully it'll fit um, to make this adjustment because um, don't want any air leaking out. You can see where that is, and then this is the old one. I could kind of see that somebody's been in here. Um, they've obviously made this adjustment before. I mean this this hot tub is 
is 15 years old. So, um, you know, you have to make these things work again. All right, so I am taking off this cover here. Um, I need to uh, knock this this fitting off and then also um, get to this wiring so I can reuse this wiring. So I'm removing this cover here by loosening these, uh, these screws. I'm taking note of the wiring here. If you notice, green on green, black on black, red on white. Going to want to definitely uh, wire that up just the same. All right, so here's the new one. I opened up the new one as well, and the new blower, and here we go, red, black, and green wire, so that looks like it's gonna match. I'm gonna go ahead and splice this off, and then I got some uh, blue crimpers from the bottom of my uh, toolbox. I usually throw oddball things in there, and there they are for another time, and this is another time. And um, it looks like I'm going to use this old casing because it has been modified with this PVC pipe and I don't really want to do that all over again. And besides, I think it's been glued in there. So um, I'm going to use this old casing. It looks like it's the same manufacturer and it, it looks very similar and they should be compatible. And I'll just uh, put this old casing on there so I don't have to modify this uh, with P PVC pipe. All right, so here's this is the plug that I'm going to reuse, and so I just spliced this off and uh, cleaned it up, getting it ready to plug into the uh, the new unit. Okay, so here's the plan. Looks like I'm going to use the old housing. Um, here is the new housing. It does have this new kind of little foam insert, but look, at, it's exactly as the old one. And so I'm just going to put this foam insert into the old housing and use the old housing. It's not completely compatible. It's got these little notches here. And so I'm just going to use the old housing. That's the plan. Okay, I'm matching up the wires and crimping on the leads. Ah, so here we are. Um, got the old plug on. Um, this is the old housing with the new electrical component inside and so uh, it's time to put it back together and see if this is going to work. So here's the fitting um, that goes on, uh, kind of screws on to the, the, where the air goes in and this little screw is just kind of sitting here, not all the way driven in, just sort of like this, just to kind of hold that in. So I just put it back just the way it was. Okay, so I put the uh, the blower right back where it was before and screwed on that little air intake. And then put a little bit of duct tape right here. It, they had electrical tape on there to kind of protect it, but I'm all out, so I put some duct tape. Keep the dirt out of there. And I think it's just about the moment of truth Let's see what happens. Okay, I'm going to turn this back on at the GFI. See what happens. Well, seems to be working all right. Let's see if the blower turns on. Well, it looks like it's in its filtration mode here. The heater's gone on. Uh, I don't let it go below 90. And uh, it's 89, so it cooled off real fast. All right, let's see. Success. And 
this is with the uh, the pumps on and the blower. Yay! Looking good. Sounded good. It seems to be fine. We got a brand new blower. All back together. Ready to go.